And Manoj Vasudevan joins me in the studio now. Well, first of all, congratulations. You are the world champion. You beat out uh, 140 other countries, I believe, some 30,000 individuals taking part in this. Uh, we'll get to Cupid's arrow that you talked about in a bit. But first, tell us, how did you get into public speaking? Because your background was you were an engineer and, and you trained as an engineer. That's interesting, Sharon Chit, because when I started working, I was initially working at a domain and I kept on getting promotions and pay raise every year and I was happy in my job. Then one time, one day everything stopped and I went to my boss and said, hey, how come you didn't give me a promotion this year? He said, Manoj, you have reached your potential. You don't have what it takes to get to the next level. Mm. And that's when for the first time I started looking at what I was missing. Initially I thought I should get an MPA. Mm -hmm. So I went to Imperial College London to do an MPA. But two years later, nothing changed in my career. Then I realized there are five core skills we need to master, mm -hmm. which nobody taught me. And I believe unless you master these skills, you'll always be performing under your true potential. And these are the ability to connect, mm -hmm. to communicate, to network, to lead, and to influence. So what I did was to put out a long-term plan to learn these skills. I got very fascinated to learn these skills. Right. And it, they, these skills obviously empowered you, particularly public speaking. I mean, what kind of advice would you give to people who are afraid to speak publicly? OK, to be honest with you, I was totally nervous to speak when I started. Mm -hmm. uh, until about 2009 is when, about eight years ago is when I first started speaking. Before that, I avoid opportunity to speak. Maybe I've done some songs presentation. But I believe this is a very essential. It's the number one skill you need to have, right? And the reason is most people can't do public speaking. So once you learn the skill, you become one of the very few people in the world mm -hmm. who can do this. Mm -hmm. And initially, I thought I can never do that. I was totally nervous. But the reason you need to do this is because it raises your confidence in yourself. Okay. And you believe more in yourself. Now, now let's talk about Cupid's bow, because your talk was all about the bow and the string. Tell us a little bit more about that and how it impacts relationships broadly. OK. Uh, it actually goes beyond a family relationship. Mm -hmm. When I, my starting point for my speech was looking at the speech, I had an opportunity to speak to the world for seven minutes. And my one message was to everyone come on together, be mature, co have some compromise, mm -hmm. you know, don't escalate situation, de-escalate. Right. But I use my marriage as an example so that I build the credibility authority for my main messages to, for everyone to come together. Right. And, and the bow and arrow is, nobody talks, everyone talks about the Cupid bow. Or a Cupid's right. arrow, and I was trying to explain there's more beyond love, falling in love in one Indeed. thing. Fall, and, now, yeah. Manoj, I could talk to you a lot more. You are the champion after all, but unfortunately, we've run out of time. But thank you so much for coming on the program, and congrats once again.